Hamilton residence, security and one reporting that General Berg will specific location, not responding notified only. Five four. Harassment number is going to be zero zero one five five seven. Hearing you. That's zero zero one. What's interesting about those police scanners and ambulance and fire is yeah, they're still on the public airwaves. I would have thought by now it would have been almost impossible to monitor the police, fire, and ambulances as they operate in your local city. So this is probably something you could do if you're interested it is to get a scanner like what I showed there and you can listen to, listen to what the cops are up to in your neighborhood. Anyways, the point of the video, I received a email from somebody who was moving out to Hawaii. They said, uh, hi Spot, I'm moving out to Honolulu with my family. Uh, it's my wife and two kids and we're wondering how safe is Honolulu? That's a great question and let me preface this by saying I am not a uh, whatever criminal uh, justice guy or, or whatever. I don't track this stuff often but I do live right in Metro Honolulu and uh, I do work in television so I can give you some kind of data and the fact is overall Honolulu is a great safe city to live in. Now there's a few uh, few things, a uh, few caveats there. One is uh, our property crime rate is higher than the national average. So basically what property crime is is uh, theft and burglary uh, yeah, those are the two main ones, theft and burglary, and I, I've got to attest to that, that you, you know, here, I never, I've had my car broken into, uh, I don't live in the greatest neighborhood, the Cockroach Estates is not in the best neighborhood, surprisingly, but I live um, in Metro Honolulu, so, and I've, uh, one time I left my car unlocked, and it got, you know, rifled through, which is kind of to be expected in any city, right? Uh, I've never been a victim of a burglary, I've, uh, I've definitely had um, stuff uh, stolen. Um, you, my I had a bike stolen. I had a yeah. I guess that's really it. But I am I am really because I've been coming here for I don't know about 20 years now. I am really hyper, and it's always kind of been a problem here. Uh, mainly, I'm talking about vehicle break-ins, and uh, if you live in a ground-level apartment, you know you really want to be careful if you're moving here and you're looking in town, you want to really be careful that it's secure in some way uh, because a lot of ground level apartments get burglarized. So that being said, uh, I have, uh, what I do to prevent that kind of thing is first of all, with, as far as my car goes, I never leave anything in my car ever. Uh, if I go, if I have my camera and whatnot, I'm gonna go shoot some photos and then I'm gonna go have lunch, camera comes in with me to lunch. Okay, or I leave it with my my wife on the beach if I'm gonna go swimming or whatever it is. I never leave anything valuable unattended in the car because that is uh, the worst thing you can do. It's uh, it's it's a shame, but it is a reality. If you leave anything in your car, you are ripe to getting it ripped off. Okay, uh, that's especially true if you're out in a tourist vehicle a rental, and they're obviously marked. They have you know the stickers on the side, the little barcodes. And the thieves know, you know, and the rental agencies will tell you this too. So just trust me. And and leave it in the trunk uh, is better, out of sight. But a lot of times you got these scumbags that are looking from the bushes, and they see you put your your phone or whatever. And uh, you know, if you get all, you can prevent it. Do it. Uh, sometimes what I'll do is, if I'm by myself, I will actually hide my phone in like my spare tire wheel well or. Uh, yeah, or really an obscure spot in the car. So in case something does happen, they probably will not find it. Thieves, they look for low-hanging fruit most of the time. If they see an iPhone sitting on a passenger seat or in a center console, they will smash your window right out to get that thing. So be aware. The second thing I'd like to talk about is violent crimes. Now, Honolulu is uh, definitely lower than the national average for a city our side uh, when it comes to violent crimes. I've never had any trouble with uh, you know anybody on the street uh, I ride my bike a lot I've never had any trouble and I think that is pretty typical uh, Honolulu is pretty safe I don't feel afraid to walk through just about any neighborhood here at night even with my son I wouldn't worry so that sort of thing is uh, for me not an issue again if you're looking for trouble you will find it but if you're minding your business I've never had trouble with that kind of thing the whole time I've lived here and the last thing I'll really just quickly touch on is 
uh, you're keeping your home safe. And this is all common sense stuff, but here, uh, a lot of the windows, they use the, the old style jalousies, they're a slatted window. They come out very easy. It's very easy to get in. So this goes back to the first level apartment. If you're in a, um, if you were in a ground level, you know, you gotta always make sure you keep your windows closed. Um, security cameras have become very cheap. I use one and I use an app called Presence and this will detect me of any motion. And in recent years, with the price of those dropping, they've been able to catch more, more burglars uh, because pe you know, more people are outfitting their, their houses and apartments with these cameras. So overall, I think Honolulu is a great city. It's a great city for a family. It is very safe, but you just gotta be aware of uh, those few things uh, with the basically keeping your stuff you know, always be mindful of your stuff. And um, that's pretty much true anywhere, but Hawaii is, uh, and has, as far as I remember going back 20 something years, has always had that problem. So make sure you, make sure you secure your gear if you wanna hold on to it. So that's it. And uh, I, again, uh, Elena, I really do appreciate your email. And uh, if anyone has any questions about Hawaii, uh, please feel free to contact me via YouTube. And uh, as always, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And until next time, this is Spot signing off from the Cockroach Estates. And we'll see you soon. Aloha.